Hello, welcome to lesson 61 where implicitly typed local variable in C sharp brought to you by Pro Technologies. My name is Arish. In this session we are going to learn what is var and keep in mind var was introduced in the C sharp version 3.0 and var can only be defined in the method as a local variable and the compiler will infer its type based on the value to the right of the operate right of the assignment operator in the sense you can observe the first line tells it's explicitly type of coding in the sense i is equal to 100 explicitly we are telling what the type of i is it's 100 but in the you can observe in the second line it's implicitly type of coding what 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 we are doing is here we are telling i is equal to 100 but we are not telling what type it is instead of we are specifying where okay but the compiler will infer its type will tell this type based on the value to the right of the operator first what the compiler does is it will check this i i variable and then it will check what the value assigned to it if it is a numerical number then it will assign it's it is of a type integer if it is a string then it will assign the type as string okay it's the job of the compiler uh, to infer its type based on the value to the right of the operator and that's what the var keyword is and that's what the var implicitly typed local variable is okay now we learned what is implicitly typed and explicitly typed right now we'll jump into the next slide okay you can observe here the following example shows how var can have a different type based on its value in the sense you can observe your var is i is equal to 10 and what we're doing is here we're printing the type of this i variable okay how to do that hi dot get type dot to string okay now to, uh, without wasting much time let's make our hands dirty in coding uh, right now i'll jump into visual studio and let me create um, some variables using this var keyword var i is equal to 100 okay if i want to get the type of this i okay what shall i do well, uh, it's very simple i dot we have something called get type okay it will get the type of that i and let me convert into string format okay that's all now let me code uh, for some other okay where x is equal to let me store a string here and pro technologies okay let me print that and get the type of that variable x dot the get type dot to string okay this is what this is what we wanted to do and right now let me jump back to the slide and let us have some double values and the true also where y equals um, like 100.23 I have to give the suffix of it fine y dot get the type of it and get it in a string format let me use two string done and let me create one uh, variable of boolean type okay right now we don't know what type it is okay who is the guy who is informing the what type of this variable is it's the compiler will check the value at the right side then it will inform that is of that type like here it's a boolean okay z dot get type dot sorry dot dot to string okay right now when I run this project you can observe it will tell you like uh, i is of what type it's of system dot two in 32 okay and the x is of system dot two string similarly let me go with the other two parts okay now let me call that okay so you can observe the we know that y is equal to 100.2.23 d it's of a double uh, type it's giving us system dot double and z is of the type boolean okay and that's what we saw okay the compiler is the guy who is checking the value at the right side and telling what type of variable it is okay and that's what we learned in the presentation in the previous slide you can observe the compiler will infer its type based on the value to the right of the operator okay and that's what the output we got and where can be used in the following different contexts like uh, local variable declaration we are done with these things like for loop and especially in the for each loop uh, um, when we want to iterate a collection there um, by default when we um, call the for each loop uh, for each and tab it twice it will give you the syntax telling like for each where item in collection there we are using the where okay um, then you are using statement and as a anonymous type and in linky query uh, expression also we'll use the var type and this is the 
usage where we'll find the, the different types of using var in different context okay and here is the key features in var var can only be declared and initialized in a single statement following is not valid okay let us try with this uh, it, okay let me jump to visual studio let me erase this part okay now if i do int um, i is equal to i int i I'll, let me declare the variable first let me initialize it to 10 okay and let me print it let me print that variable okay this works fine and it prints 10 on the console screen but coming to the var variable what shall we do is instead of int let me place a var keyword here and let me try to build it first okay what is telling impl implicitly typed variables must be initialized in the sense you can't uh, carry the variable to the next line and you in the next uh, in the next line you can't initialize there instead of that what we have to do is we have to initialize uh, we have to initialize that there itself so when I remove this and when I press Control shift B and this works fine and you can observe here but you can't initialize the variable in the next line that's the problem with the var keyword okay now let me jump to the slide here you can observe var cannot be used as a field type at the class level let us see what what is this okay sorry for this let us see what is this var cannot be used as a field type at the class level it's very easy let me go and create a class the class name is uh, demo and let me create a field public int id okay and let me build it and this works fine but if I go with the var keyword instead of int okay, let me build it it's telling like the contextual keyword var may only appear within a local variable declaration or in a script code you can't use it at the class level and that's the problem with the var keyword at the class level okay let me jump back here and var cannot be used in expression like this okay how to check it okay let me do with this var i equals plus equals 10 and let me build the program you can observe it's giving us multiple errors telling like expected implicit like variables must be initialized invalid expression it's telling like this is an invalid except, uh, expression for it okay this we can't use it in a var type and multiple vars cannot be declared and initialized in a single statement let us see what do you mean by that uh, in the sense if you are having int i is equal to 10 comma and j is equal to 20 sorry I have to place comma and now what shall we do is uh, console dot right line let me print i console dot right line let me print j and this works fine and let me run it's printing 20 and j on the console screen and this works fine if the int type now let me go with the var let me build this it is telling light implicitly variables cannot have multiple declarations that's the problem with the int var type okay and that's what we saw in this session we learned like uh, what is the var what is the var implicitly type local variable and it was introduced in the c-sharp version 3 and we learned the difference between implicitly and explicitly typed and we learned how a compiler uh, will uh, tell what type of uh, value the variable is going to hold okay it's the duty of the compiler to check and tell like what type of variable it is holding like what type of the variable it is okay and we also saw an example and we also saw the different usages of uh, var in different contexts okay and these are the key features we saw right now and finally thank you for listening have a great day and don't forget to subscribe to the youtube channel Ang Pro training and don't forget to feed don't forget to give the feedback also thank you